All right, in this video, let's take a look at how we can use panel loops to create kind of a really cool effect of indentation and that looks uh, similar to this. All right, so to do this kind of effect, all you need to do is let's roll this back down. And initially what I have is a simple 64 uh, Dynamesh. You can see it's a low resolution Dynamesh, all right? So I'm going to go in my orthographic view and let's um, let's decide on the color of our sphere. So I'm just going to say go with orange and do a fill object. Next I'm going to grab my slice rectangular brush and let's turn on our polyframes so we can see what we're doing. All right, then holding down control and shift I'm going to kind of make the pieces of of my stripes. So maybe something like that and like that. If you're not happy, just do Command Z or Control Z to undo it and just kind of redo it. All right, so something like that. Next, what we want to do is go to Geometry and find our edge loops. So you'll find edge loop right here. Next, go to panel loops. And in the panel loops, set your thickness to 0.1. That's all you need to do. Once you, say it, once you set it to 0.1, let's just say panel loops, all right? So if you go out of the polyframe, you will see these really nice, beautiful beveled loops that ZBrush created for us. Now, if you're creating something like a robot or um, something, you know, with sharp edges, make sure whatever you do, don't re-Dynamesh. So turn Dynamesh off. So I'm just going to actually turn mine off. And the interesting part about panel loops is even though this is a low resolution uh, sphere, right, the lines are really perfectly straight, which is really cool. And now to color these, all we need to do is do control shift and click on each line. So for example, let's decide on the color of our lines. So in my case, maybe I'll do kind of an orangey yellow. And I'll do a fill, control click outside, and make sure you also grab the actual panel uh, itself as well not just not just the middle stripe but also the kind of the outer one so do control shift and click on that as well and do a fill do control shift on this next one and fill control shift outside to bring it back then click on our panel on our on our side one control shift fill that and just keep doing it until you kind of grab all of them. All right, so then you end up with something like this, which is really cool. Next, if you wanted to, uh, obviously this is low resolution. If you wanted to increase resolution, even though we started with the Dynamesh, we cannot re-Dynamesh and we cannot just simply drag the resolution up. It will completely destroy our beautiful uh, clean Line. So the only thing we could do to add resolution, right now it's only 35,000 points, is just simply uh, press Command D. And as you can see, the resolution is going to get a lot denser, and now we're at 142,000 points, but everything is going to stay, stay very clean. So if I do a quick BPR, you'll see how clean the lines are. And you can press Command D as many times as you want. This is still kind of a lower resolution. If I do Command D again, and maybe one more, I'm at, right now I'm at 2 million. That's a nice number. If I render this, you could see how amazingly clean and crisp this is, right? So that's how you use panel loops, and they're uh, amazing to make anything from robots to maybe stripes or straps on your um, character. So have fun. And I hope this was helpful.